Hello, Dahi here from TimeSip Softworks. Welcome to the second development video for Prometheus Wept. The first development video covered a number of areas in which Prometheus Wept uh, will improve on its predecessor, Vigilantes. Uh, this included deeper combat, strong consequences for player choice, and more emphasis on story. This follow-up covers the remaining improvements, with one notable exception, which will be covered at a later date. To begin with the crafting system, Vigilante's crafting system allows for the creation of upgradable armour, medical supplies, explosives, and a fairly large selection of equipment. Most weapons can't be crafted from scratch, but can be upgraded. And the weapons in Vigilante's are mostly linear upgrades of one another, which, with some variations in damage, accuracy, and AP cost, uh, but generally higher tier weapons of the same type are usually more effective. Prometheus Wept will offer a more intricate crafting system. There are two crafting skills, mechanics, which handles the creation of armor, weapons and equipment, and chemistry, which handles the creation of explosives, healing items, and buffs. There are two basic crafting resources. Raw materials can be found and harvested from the environment. Uh, this includes things like metal, various metals, cloth, fuel, plastic, and chemicals. Now there are also weapon components, and these are the unassembled parts of weapons, which can be crafted or found at, at multiple quality levels. To cover a couple of examples of how crafting will, will happen, uh, a knife would be composed of a grip and a blade. So the component quality and the type of metal used in the blade will determine things like chance to hit, damage, critical chance, chance to cause, cause bleeding, and so on. Firearms are created from a frame, barrel and grip, and this affects stats like damage, range, accuracy and capacity. There will be two basic suits of armour in the game, falling into the categories of light and heavy armour. There will also likely be two crafted, unique, high level armours. The type of raw material used will affect damage mitigation, but heavier armour armor will also reduce the chance of evading attacks. Prometheus Wept introduces buffs in the form of combat stimulants with colourful street names like Reaper, Armadillo, Stallion and Rook. An increased skill level in mechanics will allow better weapon components to be crafted, that is higher quality ones, um, so, and that will result in better quality items when the components are assembled. The intention is to have less weapons than in Vigilantes, but to make the weapons more different from one another and make it possible to craft them at multiple quality levels. Uh, the end result of this will be that it will provide a greater collection of viable weapons for, the, for you to choose from uh, throughout the game. Moving on to the character system. Given Vigilante's focus on combat, characters which focused heavily on non-combat skills weren't really viable. So broadly, the choice is a ranged or melee character or some combination thereof. Different weapon types, especially ranged weapons, did affect how the character is most efficiently utilised, and there are also a large number of perks, and each ally has a unique perk, which only they can own. Skill points in Vigilantes are gained from using skills, and after a certain number of skill gains, the character levels up, granting a perk, stat, or skill points. In Prometheus Wept, characters will still require some combat proficiency, but there will be more scope for viable, less combat-focused characters. Social, trade, and other skills can allow combat to be avoided, but for the most part, they will create advantages to make combat easier. The addition of an evasion stat, along with light and heavy armour, will create options for light, that's evasion, and heavy, tank, ranged, and close combat builds. Instead of having one unique perk per character, the intention is that each ally will have one or more sets of unique perks. These perks provide passive bonuses and high impact activated abilities to further differentiate how each character plays. The resource used for activated abilities will be res resolve points, which are generated every turn based on the character's resolve stat. This in turn allows for the creation of offensive, support and defensive casters. Like Vigilantes, skill points in Prometheus Wept are gained from use, though completing objectives will also reward skill points. 
Once a certain number of skill points have been earned, the character will level up. Stat points will be re rewarded less frequently than in Vigilantes, but more perk points will be provided, and this is to allow players more freedom to adopt the perks in each character's unique set, and to choose from general perks. The final area I'd like to cover today is greatly improved gameplay variety. Gameplay in Vigilantes is focused on combat. The gameplay loop is based around fighting, upgrading your character's weapons and base facilities, and uh, fighting again. And I should point out that the majority of additions discussed until now have been implemented to some degree. What follows will likely be present, but no work has been carried out just yet, so there is a lower degree of certainty here. The tactics skill will provide active and passive skills which are used in combat and also provide options to substantially change a combat encounter. Ideas being considered include luring enemies into an area with more favourable characteristics, such as more cover for the player team and less for the enemy. Interacting with the environment to create an advantage in combat, for example, damaging a water tower to flood an area occupied by melee enemies in order to slow them down and make them more vulnerable to electric attacks. Ambushes and creating distractions to temporarily remove some enemies from combat. Now, I've always thought that gameplay variety is a good part of the reason why Half-Life 2 and StarCraft 2, particularly the Terran campaign, are such amazing games. The basic building blocks of gameplay are well executed and remain the same throughout but consistent novelty added true game mechanics elevated the experience of playing these games for me. In Half-Life 2, in one section you drive a buggy while in the next you fight zombies with a gravity gun, later you lead resistance troops or ant lines against the Combine. In StarCraft 2, objectives change from stopping escaping trains to pushing forward through enemy lines driven by the destruction of the map behind you by a sun-going supernova to harvesting minerals from a planet which per periodically spews lava, destroying everything on the low ground, to raiding a, an enemy prison with reverse tower defence mechanics. Now, I'd like to take a similar approach to gameplay variety in Prometheus Wept. The intention is to structure the game into three acts, with each act introducing new gameplay elements and factions, along with a substantial shift in tone. The additional resources required will result in a shorter game, but I believe players will be better served by a shorter quality experience than a lengthy bland one. For example, in Act 1, the player will have the choice to overthrow or consolidate the position of the oligarchy which controlled the rising city-state of Sunny Pines. So you'll have the option to work overtly for the oligarchy or the rebels, or try to undermine the other faction from within, for as long as they trust you. While the outcome will ultimately be decided by combat, there will be plenty of opportunities along the way to recruit allies, neutralise enemies or enemy supplies, or potentially purchase equipment to better equip your faction. The tone of Act 2 will shift to horror, and the gameplay will, will focus on managing the resources and defenders of a makeshift settlement beset by two very different but equally deadly groups of enemies. A stretch goal here will be to add upgradable base facilities and the ability to place defences. So that's pretty much it for now. Um, you can expect another development log in the next four to six weeks. Have a good day.